Cincinnati building inspectors order a Hyde Park condo tower to fix those leaks. Those who live at Madison House say it is long overdue. I-Team reporter Dan Monk has been following this controversy for more than a year and shares this update. Let's get this fixed and let's get it right. Bertie Helmick was initially skeptical that water damage was a threat to Madison House. But then she noticed her own leaky windows and cracks in the facade, and she got city inspectors to notice them too. We showed them some of the repairs that were made that are not holding up. We showed them what repairs have not been made, and we've showed them the fear that many of us have regarding the structure and the safety of this building. That led to this detailed July 20th order to, quote, repair windows, balcony doors, flashing, cracks in the exterior walls, or roof leaks across the entire high-rise and parking garage, end quote, at Madison House. It's probably the best outcome in writing. The city is admitting that these problems exist. And uh, now we have to now we have to address them and fix them. Edgar Ragusas has been fighting for this outcome for years, long before he invited the I team to document water damage on the property last summer. Will the building fall? I don't. I don't know. I honestly don't. Um, but I think we need to be very careful how we progress from here with the remediation and who we use. Ragusas has a lawsuit against Madison House that's scheduled for mediation next month. He's pushing for an independent structural study of the building and a sharing of liability that includes building managers. Previous people, including people on the board, management company, uh, these outside, uh, this outside engineer, Mr. Patterson, uh, these people have to be removed from the process because they've taken us to where we are. We reached out to Madison House and its property management company. They've yet to respond. City records don't indicate how much repairs will cost, but residents fear it will be in the millions. It's worth it to get it done right. It's a beautiful building, and if there is a way to preserve it, it would be great. Let's find out whether or not it can be preserved. Dan Monk, WCPO 9, IT.